Let's take a look at low temperatures as we head into the overnight hours. It looks like we're going to be falling into the 50s area wide. Dry air has moved in, so even though we had highs in the 80s, it will cool off nicely tonight with those clear skies, dry air and light winds in place. But we warm right back up as we head into your Wednesday. Highs will be into the mid to upper 80s. And look at this. It's even showing a couple of 90s starting to show up as well. We'll see if that happens. That may be a little optimistic, but it could be a close call in a few locations for some 90 degree temperatures in March. It won't last too long though. As we check out high temperatures over the next several days, it will start to slowly come down as moisture and clouds increase. We'll be partly cloudy on Thursday and 85, 82 degrees on Friday, and then into the low to mid 70s as we head into Saturday and Sunday behind a weak cold front that will be coming through. And then it may dip down a bit more by early next week when we'll have another front and a chance for some rain moving into the area. Speaking of that, your rain chances look pretty low through Friday. By Friday night into Saturday morning, we will have a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then it quickly goes away Saturday afternoon into Sunday, and then there are your shower chances returning as we head into the beginning of next week. So you saw it on individual graphics. Let's put it all together here in your first alert 10 day forecast. Highs into the upper 80s on Wednesday, middle 80s Thursday, and into the lower 80s Friday. So slowly stair stepping down. The clouds will be on the increase Friday as well, and we'll have mostly cloudy skies by then. That'll lead to some scattered thunderstorms. Saturday morning, clearing out Saturday afternoon. Sunday's looking pretty nice. Clouds move back in Monday and Tuesday with highs in the 60s and some scattered showers around from time to time. Then we may rebound into the 70s as we head into the middle part of next week. Keep it right here on First Alert 25. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines.